Yeah, you welcome to Glamberg. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So today's look is going to be let me see. So gorgeous. So uh, it's going to be a cut crease, green cut crease, something that you can really wear on your night out occasion. So when you're looking out for ideas or you want a good makeup artist to glam you together for such events, just link up with Glam Touch. So uh, yes, we are here. I'm always here. Bookings are going on. Yes, so we are on the brow. So um, I basically um shaped the brow i mean my normal uh, routine that's with my own brow shape i didn't do so much with the brow today and use my go-to uh, concealer that's my ateco concealer i'm just uh, in love with this uh, concealer i don't know i don't know i just love this concealer you wouldn't know until you get there or use it it's a very good concealer so uh, i'm just um yes so using a darker shade to uh using a darker shade to uh, really get it a very uh natural finish uh look so uh, it takes off the lighter shade of the concealer and gives it a very natural <clears throat> looking uh brow so that's what uh i did i normally use a brown color uh, shade any powder uh, foundation powder or any brow powder that looks a little bit uh, darker as uh, the concealer so uh, that's what i use normally to clean it yes just because i've not found a very uh, medium or um, darker shade with the article so far here where i am that's the last shade you can get for a brown skin so I try just to like you know tone it down with a, a brown color so it does its work and that's what matters to me so what I used was the um, essence brow gel to make uh, the brow stay in place and also gives it a very long uh, way so uh, it's um how do we say it so it's um waterproof uh, eyeliner gel so that after i've they are all eye eyeliners what i used to shape it was uh, they are all like well uh, how do we say what i prove uh, <laughs> what i prove uh based but uh i really love uh, the fact that um the essence gel also gives it a more it has a more fiber so it makes it long uh gives it a longer way and also intensify the brow so um i'm going on with the eye i'm going on with the eye so yes so as my uh cartridge eye primer base that i'm now applying on the eye so that's what uh, i use for the i mean uh, the pigment uh, of uh, the eye the eye base serves as um, a base or a prime that tries to or does its work uh, basically to bring out the color of uh, the eye so i'm just doing the same system of making it pop out so um first of all sorry um it was the brown color shade that I used as my transition color. I used it as my transition color with uh, the help of my blending uh, brush. So uh, I tried using it. Normally, you always try to use a very neutral color as your transition, first transition uh, color. So just as I did with the left eye, I'll use the same uh procedure to do it with the right uh, eye so um then i just try to add a little bit of a pigment uh, that i got from prime uh, no this is the mac this is the mac uh, pigment i got so uh, then after i use uh, this uh, 
it's an earthy uh, color but it's a little bit like peachy like yes precisely a peachy color it's a lighter peachy color so um that was what i used for the second transition a transition color i put it on as the second transition color so uh, after i cut uh use this one for the grease area that was you can see the difference this is a more uh, a pigmented peachy color and uh, it's a darker uh, tone uh, peachy color as with the first one so uh, systematically that's what uh, you do before you cut grease so uh, that is just a then blending 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 like you know <laughs> it's all part of the game it's all part of the artistry game so uh blending 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 it's the same uh, procedure that uh, <laughs> i use for the left eye so uh, it's the same way that we all do so after i cut grease um uh, with the help of my uh, uh yeah with the help of my brush uh, yes uh, defin definition brush i use that one and i uh, also use my cartridge uh, so i use the cartridge uh, <laughs> i base to do that work of the cut and i mean the cutting of the grease and uh, i'm just like you know trying to put all in place with the definition uh, brush so um what uh, i did the next stage um to theoretically um i used my pigment from mac that's the mac pigment it's a little bit a uh, lighter green so that was what i used a step at a time then like you know softly 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 just try to um apply it on the lid i just uh, did it uh, a step at a time to make sure they are all well blended in so that is what i did for the left eye and i did the same procedure for the right eye so it's the very beautiful pigment uh, i got from i got from uh, <laughs> mark studio it's uh, a very beautiful green color so uh it has more uh, pigment in so i tried that then also <laughs> oh my god green is beautiful i love green eye so if you're a green eye lover you just use this simple tutorial you keep on watching and subscribing as well don't forget to subscribe to this channel glam box for daily so uh we make the uh color more intense with the same similar color but more more intense more intense so uh because it's a uh, eye that we taking out night out uh i we try to like you know bring out a little bit uh, yes bling glittery and the lights i mean i'm telling you it's so glamorous and the light and it gives you a very very beautiful eye so i talks i talk so it's the same procedure i'm using for the left eye so that was the pigment that uh, i'm using the mac pig just blending in blending in blending in you just have to like you know get used to blending in when you are working on such eyes so um, the same um color but with more pigmented this one is more pigmented as the powder so um we just try dusting in with uh, more pigment uh, glitter pigment on the right eye with the help so i just uh, tried blending blending it out with uh, something smoky so it's a blue smoky two-in-one uh, smoky blue i try to use for our outer eye and uh, just try to give it a very uh, definition look and our lash 
<laughs> from lash couture <laughs> so we almost done with the eye i eyelined um and wore my lash couture so that's so that's it for the eye yes because it's a very uh, heavy lash i try to make sure it stays in place so um it's the l'oreal paris that uh, i'm using that's the perfect um match it's what i use for my uh concealer and also the same l'oreal in deep coal as my foundation so i and uh, with the help of the blender beauty blender I tried to blend all two together that's the concealer and foundation to give it a very smooth finished look so um that was from the bh cosmetic bronzer the bronzer from bh cosmetic is what i used to blend all together to give it a very uh I mean to avoid any harshness harsh lines i tried to blend it with this bronzer and i uh, highlighted or set it in with a revolution setting powder and my nude by nature as a um, finish powder i use a finish powder from nude by nature to blend all in so uh, i also contoured with a darker shade that i got from primark a very uh powder that's simple and just lip and we're done